guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 4 of Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Mm. Don't give me bad vibes, no bad vibes, happy thoughts, happy, no death, please, not yet. Give me, like, one more episode where everybody is happy. And then episode six, rip it off like a band-aid. Or like a wax strip. Ish. No, I don't say that. You can't. They're so fucking cute together. Oh my god. Keep your balance. <sighs> it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt if it's him. I swear to God. I'm happy that they're talking. Oh my God. <laughs> Feelings. I'm dying. Yes. My God. Please don't do it in this episode. If you have to, just wait one more week. One more week. Wait until episode five, and then after episode six, if it is him, kill him off. Please, I swear to God, don't do it. Because they're, they're finally talking, and they look so cute together, and I don't need him to die just yet. I need them to at least kiss before if he possibly fucking dies. Like, don't do this to me. Please, God. I swear to Christ. Don't do it. I swear to God. I will be fucking devastated if you do it. Just be nice. Be nice. Be kind to me, please. I'm so scared. Like, oh. I'm getting stressed. <laughs> I'm not a thingy, Oh. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Probably on a TV show.
Uh, I know. Everyone did? Good. All right. Well, that's good, though. True. <laughs> mm, well, technically, you're its owner, so yeah. That's so cute, oh my god. <laughs> I wish I could protect all of you. Hmm. 
No, just I, I think we should stay at three. Don't don't, mm -hmm. don't get too cocky, please. Mm -hmm. Hmm. God, I mean, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but Ronzo, you are such a dick. Six practice. Yeah, what about she look? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you forgot about Haru. Okay. No. What? No. No! Oh, God. I would be laughing at a time like this, but don't do it. <laughs> no, he got hurt. He got hurt. No. No, 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 no. He just said he was fine, but did you not hear that? I heard that. Y'all heard that. Oh, there was nothing on that arrow. No, because something was on that arrow.
brain is gonna. Can we just go ahead and end the episode, please?
this changes everything now. I am like. I didn't want him to die this week. I wanted, if it was at the time, I thought it was at least going to be episode six. I wasn't expecting, I thought I was going to be fine, like, he got shot, I'm like, no, okay, he's fine, I'm like, because I'm wondering where he got hit, and then he falls, and just, that's it. There had, like, I don't want to think there's, there was something, but then there could have been possibly, because it was weird how he couldn't use his magic on himself to heal himself, because normally if you get hurt, you can. So, was there poison in it for him not to be able to use his magic? Like, why couldn't they just stop? They could have stopped after their afternoon, like before the afternoon work. They could have just ate and they could have said, Come on, guys, let's go home. If it's you, you're bonding and you take him away from her. Look at her, my fucking heart. What the fuck is wrong with you? So, now what? So, my guess is someone else is going to come in the group, isn't there? It's going to be someone new. But it, the dynamic has already changed. That he's now, he's gone. And adding someone new is either going to make it for the best or for the worst. And I think everyone's going to have mixed feelings at the time he or she comes in. But it's not going to be the same. It's never truly the same after someone who is very close to you, very important in your life has passed away, whether it be a human um, or pet, anything. Once they're gone, it's not really the same. That's the thing. No matter how deep, deep, deep down in your soul and your mind, like, everything's okay. Sometimes it's just, it's not okay. And I feel like there's going to be moments in this show from episode five to the end of this where someone, it could be between five and six, is going to just bust out in tears. For, like, just because there's all this pent-up tension and emotion inside of them, and they have to let it out. Because if you're, if you were in this situation, and someone who you really cared about and started to get very, very close to at the same time just up and died, like, wouldn't you feel upset? You would kind of really regret some things. And, I don't know, just right now, my mind between this and fucking Attack on Titan, this and Attack on Titan, have both made me cry today. And I, I didn't think that Sunday would have been the freaking day to make my ass cry. Jesus, like, I'm thinking, no, 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 it's gonna say for the weekdays. No, bitch, like, goddamn. I love this show. I really do. But why did you have to kill Monoto? I mean, he... I, I understand, yes, and I said it last week. If you kill the leader, it's gonna screw up everything and kill the leader. You couldn't wait two more fucking weeks to let him have time with her and they could have gotten together. They could have kissed, but they only had that moment that morning just to literally hang out and, like feed birds and animals and stuff and it was really weird with all the birds around because like I mean it was doves and I'm like okay I know doves signify weddings and ish but now when I look at it like a bird or something all I'm gonna think of is this and thinking that yes somebody died in this damn show and it's like you know even though it's all nice and pretty and colorful watercolors and shit yeah people could still die in this anime too just like any other and it makes me wonder like thinking about this like between this and like it's kind of really similar to, um, I want to say Darling in a way, but not that much. Like, there are differences between the show and that show. Um, 
it makes me think like, and I even said it when I finished the series, when I was talking to people about it, like why couldn't they have someone else get killed? So uh, someone in that group get killed because it would have made so much sense instead of like letting all of them survive in the end. But no, they, they, he was like, no, I'm not going to kill anybody. But, like, no, at least kill someone. Like, goddamn it. Don't just like have a happy ending ish. But this is going to hurt. Like when I watch episode five, yeah, episode five, next weekend I, I mean it's gonna hurt like you know the next few days i gonna be okay and Tuesday's gonna come and episode three is gonna come out and people are gonna be like oh <laughs> she's not ready for episode four and I'm gonna probably put in them comments I've already watched episode four and I've already cried about it so I'm not gonna be talking about that until <laughs> next week I'm like oh shit god damn I, I was just I wasn't expecting it I'm thinking like it was going to be just an episode of them getting, uh, like, struggling, like they've always done, and not, like, dealing with death in this episode. I'm thinking this was just gonna be a regular, normal episode, and then, no, it was, like, <laughs> and just, you know, stabbed me in the back, and, like, uh, like, my god, Haru, my lord, everybody was just so emotional with this, but Haru and, um, she, they were, like, they were the most emotional in that moment I mean oh god I just can't it was a, it was a really good episode really good episode up until Monoto died if I could change one thing about this show I wouldn't have killed Monoto I'm just saying like I like <sighs> if only if only it hit his leg not waist above if it hit like his leg he would have been fine and they would have been able to laugh it off like it was weird for them to laugh it off like after he was saving him for a second i'm like thinking why the fuck are you laughing at this time i'm like you're all, I'm like what if one of you dies and then it happens and then it's just like really but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode four of Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all officially next Saturday for the Patreons and next Tuesday for everybody else for episode 5. Bye, guys.